Oh, then I see Queen Mab hath been with you. She is the fairy's midwife, and she comes in shape no bigger than an agate stone on the forefinger of an alderman, drawn with a team of little atomies over men's noses as they lie asleep. Her chariot is an empty hazelnut made by the joiner squirrel, or old grub, time out of mine, the fairy's coach makers. Her wagon spokes are made of long, spinner's legs, the cover of the wings of grasshoppers, the traces of the smallest spider's webs, the colors of the moon shines, watery beams, her whip whoosh of cricket's bone, the lash of film, her wagoner is a small gray-coated gnat, not half so big as a round little worm pricked from the lazy finger of a maid. And in this state she gallops, Night by night, through lovers' brains, and then they dream of love, or courtier's knees that dream on curtsy straight, or lawyer's fingers that straight dream on fees, or lady's lips that straight on kisses dream, which oft the angry mad with blisters plagues, because their breath with sweetmeats tainted are. And sometimes comes she with a tithe pig's tail, tickling on a parson's nose as she lies asleep. And then dream he of another benefice. Sometime she driveth o'er a soldier's neck, and then dreams he of cutting foreign throats, of breeches and buscados, Spanish blades of else five fathoms deep, and then anon drums in his ear at which he starts and wakes, and being thus affrighted, swears a prayer to and sleeps again. This is that very mad that, that plats the manes of horses in the night and, and bakes the ale flocks in foul, sluttish hairs, which once untangled much misfortune bodes. This is the hag when maids lie on their backs that presses them and learns them first to bear, making them women of good carriage. This is she! <laughs> True, I talk of dreams, which are the children of an idle brain, begot of nothing but vain fantasy, which is as thin of substance as the air, and more inconstant than the wind, who woos even now the frozen bosom of the north, and being angered puffs away from thence, turning his face to the dew-dropping south. 